Hey everybody, I have my Crybaby GCB95 pedal. Many of you have used that. I enjoy how it sounds when I use it as a wah, but when it is in my signal chain, I do not like it when it is off. I have this guitar, I have that amp, there is nothing else in the chain. Cable, guitar, there's not even a foot switch plugged into that amplifier. I'm going to play a couple things, and then I'm going to put the pedal in the signal chain, but not turn it on and we'll see what it does to the tone. And then after that, I'm going to perform the true bypass modification to that pedal, and then I'll do the same thing. So we'll get a sound sample before and after. Okay, on this circuit board here, you'll see I have marked six components with a dot here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is two capacitors, three resistors, and one transistor. They need to come out for our modification, and we will be changing out this switch here. Okay, so here's the circuit board for the Crybaby. You can see the three resistors, the two capacitors, and the transistor marked here with a black marker. When I flip this over, I marked the solder joints just to make it easier in the video for you to pick out what's going on here. And all of those will become desoldered and I'll remove the components from those. So the next part of this video, those components will have been removed. Okay, I probably should have started this video by opening this, I didn't. So it has wire, a switch, and the instructions on how to do this modification. You can see here the board, I've removed the connections and I've removed the old switch. So the next time you see this, it'll have what we need to make this true bypass installed. Okay, here we are. All of the components are out, the wires are in, the new switch is in. You will find the hardest step in the instructions is right here, getting this to connect. So it'll go into the pin that goes to that connector. That'll be the most difficult part for you because you do not want to bridge the joint and you don't want to leave your iron on there too long. If you do what I did, what will happen is this here, it's connected to the battery and to the DC terminal. So what I did was I just went to the next spot on the board and I jumped it out underneath there. So I actually have a second piece of wire there. That's how I took care of that. So that'll be the most difficult part for you. And I do want to say this really quickly. This board will make you swear if you put your iron on it for too long. Let me see. I had a piece of it here, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Some of it left. I had to repair the board, one of the signal traces. I let my iron on there for a half of a second and it started to lift. So, all right, let's see if this thing works. Okay, so it's time to see if the modification works. Battery is out of the pedal, and what we have here is an unpowered True Bypass Crybaby. Guitar to the pedal, pedal.
pedal to the amp in true bypass mode, you should have full signal. And then when I engage the pedal without a power source, the signal should become very, very faint or completely inaudible. What I'll do is I will leave the power supply out of it. So I, I'm sorry, the battery, what well, is a power supply, but okay. It will not have the battery in it. I will play what I played before and then I will put the battery in it and I will play what I played before. And this will serve a purpose. Does the power affect it even when the pedal's off? If we have full signal, I'm thinking the answer is no, but your ears can be the judge for that. And then we'll click it on and do a little bit of the wah action with it. So um, without further ado. That settles it. It works. The modification is correct. You have little signal when the effect is engaged and there's no power. You have full signal when the effect is not engaged and there's no power. So that's doing what True Bypass does. The modification kit that I bought, I got the one from Stu Mac. The reason was they had the switch in stock and the kit actually came out to be a better deal since I have uh, the Stu Mac's product, which means I get free shipping. If I would have bought the switch somewhere else and just used wire out of my, my stash here, it would have cost more. So got the kit. The hardest part about it is one of the power terminals. You will have to connect one of your leads from your switch to that. And it's a real pain in the rear end on the newer crybabies. The signal trace is like the lift from the board. So just be really careful with your soldering iron on that. You'll find out the hard way like I did and you'll have to repair a signal trace. So, sounds good, works pretty well.